What up, what up, what up? This is your man DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You are listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is May the 21st, 2021. I have a very interesting show for you, to say the least, as long with all of our regular scheduled programming with the national and the worldly news and maybe even some local news. So I'm going to say thank you for joining me and welcome, welcome, welcome to those who have not been here before. We will welcome you to Friday Night Live. And I am your man, DJ TJ, and uh, I want to welcome you so much that I want to say it again. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my YouTube subscribers, my Facebook followers and friends, my Instagram followers, and my Twitter tweeters. I love y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Give yourself a a round of applause. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are awesome. You bring the world to me. We have over... Almost 1,800 subscribers on YouTube, and we're working on even more. So thank you for all the views lately. You saw my Mother's Day programming I put on for my church. You saw my Bible study programming, and you saw even the test I put out there, which you've been really representing and viewing and liking and sharing comments, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. So this is what is in your news. We're going to make this quick and sweet. I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off with a freestyle real quick, and then we're gonna get into our regular scoop news and uh, go from there and give you all the nice headlines. All right, straight up from the top. Just like I said, I'm gonna give you some freestyling first. Um, in the stimulus news, we have no really good stimulus news because right now everyone is saying that COVID is on the downhill and they have gone downhill so much that they have, uh, CDC has mandated that no one who is fully vaccinated has to wear a mask indoors or outdoors. But there are some exceptions. There is a business exception. There is a restaurant exception. If they do not allow you to not come in without a mask on, you have to do so because they are well within their rights. Uh, Michigan governor got on the mic yesterday and said that they are well in their rights to do so. She is planning to remove a lot more restrictions from Michigan come July the 1st. So I'm not really looking forward to that, but I know a lot of other people who are. And I still think that this thing is still strong and going because if you look at India, they're not letting up. But there is a lot of numbers that are saying that things are getting better. As far as for vaccinations, people are not getting vaccinated like they used to. They are practically begging people to get vaccinated these days. Even here in my building, they ask people to come and get vaccinated outside and they had recently had where you had to have an appointment. It got to the point where they were ready for anybody and everybody to show up first come first serve. And they they were doing the same thing at Walmart when I went to grocery shop today. So basically pharmacies are begging people and asking them if they would like to get vaccinated they can do so. No appointment needed which is weird because they really have needed appointments lately. So other than that, you know, we are just uh, enjoying this weather because here in Michigan, it's been over 80 degrees, 86 to be exact, and everybody is out and about, and Memorial Day is right around the corner. Oh, yeah, did I forget to say that? Memorial Day is right around the corner, y'all. So hopefully you'll be able to enjoy it a little bit better than you did last year. 
not saying don't be safe out there. If you have to wear a mask, make sure you wear a mask. Enjoy your family, friends, and enjoy the day. At my church, if you're really staying up on what's going on in my church, we're going to now have a revival at my pastor's car dealership on every other Saturday. It's beginning tomorrow. So if you're in the Lansing area, make sure you check it out at American Car Care on East Kalamazoo. You can't miss it. All right, all right. I, I think I forgot some things, but I'll come back to it a little bit later. This is what is now in your news. The Maple Leafs, the Maple Leafs, the Maple Leafs captain, John Tavares, released from hospital out of playoffs indefinitely after scary stretcher happening. John Tavares left the ice on a stretcher Thursday night after a collision with two Canadians. But on a good note, he is out of the hospital and he is definitely not in any harm as far as for concussion wise. But he has been placed out of the playoffs in, indefinitely, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Astonishing FBI analyst charged with removing classified documents for over a decade. Kendra Kinsbury of the FBI Kansas City Division allegedly took classified documents, including the ones providing Bin Laden's whereabouts and how he was killed. All right, let's keep it going. All right, all right, let's get back to it. She actually held those. She's been accused of holding those documents at home, y'all. That's dangerous, y'all. That is really dangerous. All right, the Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison to lead persecution of Kim Potter, ex-police officer charged in shooting death of Dante Wright. I believe Kim Potter is the one who mistakenly, quote, quote, uh, shot a young man by the name of Dante Wright. Instead of tasing him, she shot him to death. All right, in California, state to drop social distancing requirements in June. Unemployment claims increased last week. Someone is shooting at cars on the 91. But California, this is a little freestyle, y'all. California is one of those states who is having their own stimulus check handout due to some extra money they came into. It is very targeted, y'all. You have to be a certain person or a certain family in order to receive those funds in California. All right. The U.S. no longer wants to buy Greenland. Blinken confirms. The U.S. Secretary of State rules out any plans to buy the Danish autonomous territory I remember when they said they were gonna buy Greenland they should have went ahead and did that man they never know (laughs) 
All right, what's next for Chris Cuomo? Critics say apology after or over sex scandal advice to brother isn't enough. If you don't know who Chris Cuomo is, that's Andrew Cuomo's little brother. Ted Cruz insulted a woke, emasculated U.S. Army at angry veterans fired back. The U.S. Army said its ad showcases the deeply emotional and diverse backgrounds of its members. Elderly man in Austria has a wrong leg amputated during surgery in Tragic. Tragic hospital mix up. Ouch. All right, China has a seventy two story tower that remains closed until unexplained shaking stops. One of the tallest buildings in southern China that shook earlier this week without explanation has been closed until an investigation is further explained. Amazon, Amazon pauses construction at Connecticut site after nooses are found. Come on, man. The Windsor Police Department said it was investigating what is called potential hate crimes with a noose left behind at Amazon's construction site in Connecticut, y'all. Connecticut, Connecticut, Connecticut. That's terrible, y'all. That's, that's terrible. Shout out to Barkley, man. Shout out to Barkley. Because that is very terrible. <laughs> Amazon is now shutting down its Prime Now fast delivery app. Uh. Biden, Biden awards the Medal of Honor to Colonel Ralph Puckett Jr. Puckett Jr. is 94 years old and after seven years after the Korean Award of Heroism he gets the Medal of Honor. Alright, the true global COVID pandemic death toll as high as 8 million. Wow, that's crazy, man. But here we go. See, like I said, people are still dying. People are still getting COVID. We are up at least 1,622 COVID-confirmed cases, and we are up by 83 deaths due to COVID. 
So this thing is definitely not over, y'all. I don't care what anybody says. Be careful. Wear your mask. There's not as many as it used to be, but it still hasn't stopped. So don't get excited when they say no more masks, this, that, and the other. You never know what can happen, man. We never know. High speed, high speed, emergency bathroom run lands Japanese bullet train driver in hot water. Instead of hitting the brakes for a pit stop when his stomach gave him trouble, the train driver left. Left the controls in the train at speeds of 150 miles an hour. He is now facing disciplinary action after he left the crew compartment of the train empty. The train continued to travel at 90 miles an hour without him even present in the cabin. That's crazy. I've never been on a train that, you know, went around the world or anything like that, but that's dangerous. I don't, I don't care who you are. That's dangerous, even in Japan. Bulletproof Season 4 has been canceled by Sky following the Noel Clark accusations. Arizona Maricopa County advised to purchase new voting machines over tampering concerns. Secretary of State Katie Hobbs says she had grave concerns that cyber ninjas would try again. John John, John, John Krasinski wrestles his way on as the late show's first in-studio guest since the pandemic began. The late show, the late show with Stephen Colbert welcomed its first in-studio guest in over 14 months with an opportunity for John Krasinski to wrestle his way, arm wrestle that is, into the hearts of America. Mm-hmm. Leah, Leah Remini shares a missions letter after being accepted to NYU. I am so excited. In tears. Good for her. She's going back to school. Amen. That's good for her. All right. Titations issues for Cowboys Ezekiel Elliott after his dog reportedly bit two people. Come on, Ezekiel. You gotta get that dog on a leash, man. <laughs> All right, the sweat sniffer dog makes that tie debut as coronavirus detector. Mm. 
Thailand on Friday deployed dogs trained to detect coronavirus infection by sniffing samples of sweat and laundry. Olivia Rodrigo does not miss. All these sour reviews are here to prove it. The fresh face of Generation Z pop, Olivia Rodrigo, has delivered her highly anticipated debut album. All right, we're halfway there, y'all. Let's pick it up. We're going to get there. Let's, y'all ready? I think y'all ready. Let's go. Biden welcomes South Korean President Moon Jae in for a ceremony to present the Medal of Honor to the U.S. Army Colonel Ralph Puckett in the East Room of the White House. Actor Danny Masterson must stand trial on three rape charges. All right, two Chinese provinces hit by earthquakes with two reported dead. Over 20,000 people have been evacuated after Qinghai in northwest and Yunnan in southwest struck by an earthquake. The second earthquake shakes China, one dead in earlier quake. It was a 7.3 magnitude that hit southern Quinnai, China early Saturday of last week. 7.3 man that's that's a that's a big earthquake right there Biden says he will not let the Department of Justice seize Barbara Starr's phone or anything she has. She was just told by the DOG that the Trump administration had obtained the records for a two-month period in 2017. The secret... Trump, the Trump administration secretly obtained the phone and email records. Of CNN's Pentagon correspondent. Barbara Starr. All right, video shows police taunting man before he died in jail. You shouldn't be able to breathe. William Jeanette, 48, died in part of asphyxiation, a medical examiner found in a report that ruled that he died by asphyxiation.
Patrick Mahomes suggests putting microchips in footballs to end human error on touchdowns. And I quote, he says, I've always thought about the chip in the ball has to happen at some point where you cross He's a heavy, heavy advocate for the chip in the football, y'all. Buffalo Grid and Tech Fugees launch education. Solar charging initiative for refugees aim to raise $3 million. Mariska Hargate, surprised 11 year old SVU fan who fought off knife welding kidnapper. She claims she is her hero. Spain returns 6,600 to Morocco. Families look for their loved ones. Felipe, Felipe, Felipe Vasquez, former Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher, was found guilty of statutory sexual assault. Most recently, Biden has been in favor of a ceasefire, which did happen, and the Palestinians see a victory in Gaza truce as Israel warns Hamas. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga opens up to Oprah about her total psychotic break after being raped as a teen. CMA's awards board limits Morgan Wallen's eligibility after racial slur controversy. Currently, only the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine is cleared for use in Japan. Moderna and AstraZeneca have filed for approval, but a decision is not expected until May at the earliest. A report this week suggested that the AstraZeneca approval will be delayed as regulators request more information on the blood clots. All right, graves have been found at former El Salvador police officer's home, investigated as femicides. You don't know what femicide is or feminine side is a sexual-based hate crime term broadly defined as intentionally killing a woman or girls because they, they are female. Alright, Prince Harry tells Oprah Winfrey of his excessive drinking and drug use and says the royal family made him go crazy. Sorry, I should say that the royal family made him afraid. (laughs) 
his mother or his sister or whoever Diana was to Prince Harry, her death led him to drink and use drugs. KC Southern takes a buyout from Canadian National Railway. Kansas City Southern has abandoned its agreement to be acquired by Canadian Pacific. Since leaving office, since leaving office, Trump has charged the Secret Service more than $40,000 to use space at Mar-a-Lago. Dwayne, Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, to star in DC League of Super Pets as Crypto, the Super Dog. Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Greene compares house mass mandate to the Holocaust. If you're unwilling to follow this story, the House and the Senate have been ordered to keep wearing masks until the House doctor deems it possible for each and every member in the Capitol and staff to be fully vaccinated before the CDC guideline can lift the mask. New Airline. New Airline Breeze Airways takes off on May 27th with $39 fares. They are a spinoff from JetBlue, y'all. They take off on May 27th with flight concerns. Flights concentrated in the southeastern U.S. Their first flight will be from Florida, from Tampa International Airport, on May 27th. St. West tested positive for COVID-19. Kim Kardashian West revealed that her five-year-old son, St. West, caught coronavirus. FBI, 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 other experts brought in on search for 11-year-old La Vista boy. Who just happens to be autistic, y'all? BTS, the group BTS releases a new song, Butter, Shadows YouTube Records. All right, the White House dating apps vaccine vaccination makes us more attractive. White House partners with dating apps in COVID battle. Now, there have been a ban on yoga in Alabama public schools lifted after 27 years. Rules still limit what is taught there. The Alabama Board of Education voted in 1993 to prohibit yoga, hypnosis, and meditation.
Indiana, Indiana, Indiana University. Here's which Indiana colleges and universities require COVID-19 vaccination this fall. Some colleges will require students to get a COVID vaccine. But here's what the University of Indiana is doing. They are also requiring that the students and the staff have the COVID-19 vaccination shot. And last but not least, Pfizer-BioNTech pledged 2 billion doses to less wealthy nations. Which is awesome because I know you know that India really, really needs some help over there. And as well as those uh, as well as those countries in Africa who can't afford to get the vaccine. That is a big, big move. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you will have a wonderful weekend. This is your man DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You're listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is May 21st, 2021. And I want to just say God bless you. That is all the news I have for today. If I forgot anything, I'll catch up next week. Hopefully, God willing, I'll be here right same time at 10 o'clock right here on YouTube or wherever you hear your favorite podcast. If you're on Twitter, make sure you tweet me. If you're on Facebook, make sure you follow and like and add me as a friend, y'all. Look us up. Look up DJ TJ40 under our, our name. You can find us on Facebook. Don't forget to stop by the webpage churchreadyclothing.com. You can also get your t-shirts, your favorite t-shirts for a male and a female right now on Facebook, which will send you to the right page so you can buy and purchase your favorite merchandise. Don't forget... Don't forget, we just had Mother's Day, so Father's Day is right around the corner. Get your father something special from the webpage. I promise, I promise to have more merchandise out there for you to buy really, really soon. Until then, until we meet again, God willing, make sure you, if you don't have a Bible, get yourself a Bible. If you don't have a church home, get yourself a church home. Make sure you do something for someone else other than yourself. I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of this weekend, enjoy this weather. So I am out of here till next week, about 10 o'clock, y'all. Make sure you tell somebody about the show. We'll see you till then. Peace. Y'all be safe out there.